So Apple just released the Silicon Mac Pro, and it's not really what we wanted or were hoping for. Here's why. So for years now, the Mac Pro has been one of the most expandable and upgradable computers you could buy, which was kind of diminished a little bit with the trash can Mac Pro, but they brought it back in 2019 with the, the new version of the cheese grater Mac Pro that was actually like a desktop instead of a little can. That thing was pretty great. You could upgrade it to over a terabyte of RAM. You could put like anything you wanted in the PCIe slots and the CPU was upgradable. It was great for years now. The Mac Pro was great other than, you know, the trash can, which was not great. And at the March event last year, Apple themselves said that the Mac Pro is the last thing to get the transition to Apple Silicon. And everyone was excited for that f for good reason, because I mean, it's Apple's most powerful desktop. At least it was. So I'm on Apple's website right now. Let's just take a look at the Mac Studio, which before the Mac Pro came out, was like the best thing you could get at the time. Let's just go over to the Mac Studio. We'll go to the spec list. We'll select the highest end one. We'll max it out with the M2 Ultra, the non-binned one. We'll upgrade to 192 gigs, which honestly isn't like as bad of a price as it was to get 128 gigs back when they were still using DDR4. That would have cost you $2,000 back in the day. Now it's only $1,600, so you're saving $400. Still ridiculous that 192 gigs of RAM costs $1,600 when you could, could easily do it yourself if these Silicon Macs had upgradability for probably like 300, 400 or so. But anyways, that's that's besides the point. And we will put in the 8 terabyte SSD. And now this thing is at the absolute max. For a grand total of $8,800. For a tiny little box that sits on your desk. And it's got an SD card slot. Ports on the front. Can support like a plethora of high resolution displays. And has good port selection. Now let's just go ahead and go over to the Mac Pro. We'll go to the non-binned M2, 192 gigs of RAM, and eight terabytes of SSD storage. $11,800. You might say, well, that's not bad considering the last one maxed out at a total of $52,000. Really, it's that one terabyte of RAM that drives the price all the way up to that $52,000. So you might be thinking, 11800 that's not bad. Until you realize, and you think about it, the RAM in this is not upgradable. The storage is not upgradable either. The CPU is not upgradable. <laughs> so basically, this is a Mac Studio shoved into the previous generation big massive Mac Pro case. Let's just talk a minute about port selection. You get a headphone jack, two HDMI ports, two USB 3 ports, and six, six Thunderbolt ports. Now while there's a lot of quantity there, the ports are not great to be honest. While the Mac Studio has an SD card slot, this for $3,000 more does not. To be honest, I really don't feel like the Mac Pro this year is worth it. And I feel like it was kind of a rushed idea to get it in there. I feel like Apple had plans to put a really, really powerful processor in it to make this thing incredible, but they just rushed it and instead just put an M2 Ultra in it. For someone who needs 
those PCI slots for whatever cards they're wanting to put in, it is worth it. And I think right now Apple is trying to kill off the Mac Pro and replace it with the Mac Studio. I think eventually we're gonna just see the Mac Pro disappear. There may not even be a next generation Mac Pro, just like the 27 inch iMac. They killed that off in favor of the Mac Studio with the 27 inch uh, studio display. So if you agree with me, then let me know in the comments down below. If you disagree, then I wanna hear your thoughts. Do you think Apple is going to kill off the Mac Pro or do you think this was just kind of a rushed idea? While you're down there, if you liked the video, then you know what to do. Like it and as well, make sure to be subscribed for more content like this in the future. Thank you for watching and as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.